This is Reverend Rick Beatty from Unity of Royal Oak. This year we are presenting 12 powers of Christmas starting the day after Christmas. We highlight one of the 12 powers, which are 12 aspects of the Christ consciousness that we are all born with. I hope that you enjoy, but more importantly, utilize these powerful tools towards personal awakening. Hi there. April here to share with you today a little bit about the 12 powers of man, most specifically the power we call understanding. Understanding is represented by the disciple Thomas, who represents the ability to see beyond appearances to reality. Understanding is the ability to know, perceive, and apprehend. It's your ability to know that God stands under all things. Understanding is knowing with your heart. The corresponding color is gold, and the location in the body is the front of the brain. Now, if you take a moment just to take a deep breath and reflect on the words I'm about to say as I share an affirmation with you of understanding. God stands under all things, and the perfect outworking is being revealed to me right now. My understanding of truth deepens and directs my life. My inner knowing is grounded in truth. I stand on that firm foundation and am open to divine insight and revelation. I know my true nature and I understand how to express even more of my divinity in all that I say and do. And so it is. I'd like to share with you a little bit out of the book called Your God-Given Potential. Basically, understanding is important in developing our spiritual nature, right? Because it is the faculty that puts feet under our prayer, so to speak, and gives our spiritual activity something to stand on. Blind faith, faith without understanding of the spiritual laws, may get results on occasion but our spiritual growth demands a base that is more dependable, understanding that is grounded in spiritual truth. Thomas, as I mentioned, is the disciple who stands for the faculty of understanding. A study of his contact with Jesus gives us some insight into the way we must develop our own ability to think and learn to make deductions and draw conclusions so that we may awaken the spiritual quality in us. Thomas didn't always have a spiritual understanding, though, but he wanted to learn. He didn't mind asking questions, and he listened to Jesus's answers. <laughs> Thomas is probably best known for his doubting the news of the resurrection when he heard it secondhand from the other disciples. But Jesus respected Thomas's need to know firsthand. Hear this. The awakening of our own faculty of understanding starts with questioning, questioning the old ways of thinking that may have been taken for granted. Have you ever noticed that you believe things that you never even decided to believe, but somewhere along the way you picked up? There's such a great power in questioning, in taking a look, in finding our own understanding. The desire for understanding leads to thinking about what is learned and seeking to pull it all together in a body of information that will provide a basis for living. Understanding is different from wisdom though. In the revealing word, Charles Fillmore describes wisdom as intuitive knowing, spiritual intuition, and understanding as the ability of the mind to apprehend and realize the laws of thought and the realization of ideas to one another. To put it more simply, wisdom knows, understanding knows why. When your understanding is developed in both head and feet, not only will you have the light in mind, but you will also have the ability to apply it in your world. So to close out today, I'd like to share with you a meditation on the power of understanding. And this comes from Reverend Bronte Colbert. So just get comfortable in your seat and allow yourself to release any tension and any thoughts and just take a deep breath and listen to these words. In this moment, 
I pause and call upon my spiritual gift of divine understanding for insights into my daily journey. journey. If I'm not sure of the path to take, which decision to make, or what words to say, I allow spiritual understanding to guide my mind and my heart. Understanding takes me to deeper levels of compassion, non-judgment, and connection to others. I use the faculty of understanding to see beyond human appearances and into the light of truth. I perceive and am grateful for the gifts, the joys, and the presence of the divine in every event or circumstance. With spiritual understanding, I see myself and others with compassion. Just take another breath as you really feel those words and allow yourself to align with the spiritual understanding, the 12 powers all working together within you, bringing you to this place of peace, this place of compassion. Thank you for letting me share with you. Have a great week.